our Sanatana Dharma is not a dogma or creed. It is based upon three prasthana, Upanishad, Bhagavad Gita, and Bhagavatam. This Sanatana Dharma is brought to us by the exalted Param Bhagavata devotees. Bhaganti tattavidas tattam jas gayanam adhyam brahmeti paramatmeti bhagavan iti shabdhati. Those who are people of realization, tell me those who are those who, those who, those who have got the realization of God. They term the Adyagana Tattva, the Absolute Truth, as Brahma, Paramatma, and Bhagavan. Brahman can be perceived, Paramatma can be observed, but it is only Bhagavan who is realized who can have the vision of that God. Bhagavan, he is the subjective, realized, divine, supreme personality that is termed as Bhagavan. He remains at his transcendental plane. That is Guloka Boyukunka. Our Bhagavan is not staying only merely at the distance, that is at Guloka, but out of his own prerogative, he makes his descent of Otharan. He makes his past pastimes playing with his devotees. Kamsa, a Asura, he also saw Krishna, Bhagavan. But Kamsa is observing or seeing God Bhagavan, Krishna, is not like the observation or realization of the Vindavana people particularly of the gopis. Krishna is their beloved. So one is prakita, one is aprakita. God aprakita. Through the prakita senses, we cannot realize God. God has judged his rights of not being exposed to human senses. So our great souls, the men of vision, they have said, Krishna stu Bhagavan Swayam, Ishara Parama Krishna, Satyanda Vigra, Anadi Adir Govinda, Harvakarna Karana. His Vindava Lila is transcendental or Aprakita Lila. That Aprakita Lila cannot be observed or seen through this material eyes. Eyes should collidium with the divine wisdom. Then only we can realize or you can have a vision of God. So, Krishna knows that Aprakadrila is narrated in different literatures, mainly in Srimad Bhagavatam, 
in the Bhagavatam, he says Prakita Shishu means that appearing as an ordinary boy, but to a devotional eyes, he is realized as the divine. This Krishna Lila is to be understood through the spectacles by the devotees. Krishna's many Lilas are related in Srimad Bhagavatam, but this Suranjatra is not actually portrayed in Srimad Bhagavatam. In some other Puranas might be explained, but we find that Sri Kobi, Karnapu, a divine a devotee of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he, he is known, he is Ananda Vindavana Champu has narrated this Krishna's Aprakita Dhuranjatra. Today, you find Bhagavat is mainly written for Krishna Lila. But narrating his childhood from childhood, you find in the thirteenth chapter of Dasavskam Dhatran Skanto, Ki Bhamma Vimohan. Bhamma Vimohan, then we find that. Kaliya Gaman. Like this, all the love. In the 22nd chapter, we find that Bongsi's glory. The Bongsi is so charming, so sorbo atma akursa. Namely, Bongsi attracts the loving devotional souls unto Krishna. After that, in the twenty-fourth, we find that Govardhan Dharan. After Govardhan Dharan, his Gopi Lila. He Lila with the Gopi Muiti known as Jrasa Pancho Dhaya. Here, his supreme Lila is narrated. But that too we find that there is no explanation or narration of this of this Churanjatra. Churanjatra meaning when a devotee, Adho Shruta, Tato Satsanga, Tato Bhajanapya, Tato Anatta Mikvritti, and all other peculation, Upadi, Bini Mukta, Tatmaraste, Nirmalam, Nishiki, Nishi, Vanam, Bhakti, Jyoti, upon all the subjections, 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 all subjugation will be removed and our heart will be transparent. There in the heart will dwell Bhagavan Sri Krishna and his Ashwakti Srimati Radhika. Bhagavan Sri Krishna Chandra is Satchidananda Vigraha. His Ashwakrup is Satchit Ananda Sarupa. This Ananda Sarupa is Srimati Radhika. Ananda Sarupini. Srimati Radhika Ananda Swarupini. So Krishna Lila with Radhika is this foremost. Here to find in Jhulanjatra, she all the gopis, they make Krishna to sit on a swing pole 
and with great delight they swing him in this pool. Anandavan Lila Maya Bhagavan and that we should feel that Krishna is, Radha Krishna is dwelling in our heart. Yodhi, if our heart is swinged by the thoughts of this world, Mohacham Challa, mind, mind is very peculiar, mind only oscillates. So by oscillating the mind in the heart, we will not understand anything of the Krishna Lila. Krishna Lila can be understood only when mind will be sthita pragam. Sthita pragam will be, complacent state will come. They are actually the divine Lila will come. Go on, please go on from this end to other end. So that is the actually Jhulan Yatra. Before the advent of Sri Krishna, we must understand that we are prepared for that. The Jhulan Yatra means our heart has become complacent or not. So long our heart or our soul is not becoming complacent. We cannot understand anything of Krishna's Panchadhai Rasa Lila, the Lila of Gopis with Krishna. He is not the mundan, it is transcendental. So long mind is not transcending this mundanity and arriving at the plane of transcendence. We cannot understand anything of Krishna's Lila with the gopis. There are Pratyaksa, Paraksa, Aparaksa, these three stages we can realize or we can observe. But fourth stage is Turiya. It is actually beyond these three gunas. When one will come to that state, that is Michatutta stage, Nisguna stage, or what we say, Suddha Sattva Bhumika. That Suddha Sattva Bhumika will come, then only there will be Bhava. Bhava is spiritual sentiment. There is Bhava, there are five types of Santa Bhava, Dasa Bhava, Sokka Bhava, Vatsa Bhava. And then comes that Jain Premong Bhav Prem. That stage is the Dila stage of Krishna with the Gopi and the Bhunjo of Vindavana. One of them is this Rasa, this Jhulan Yatra. Yes.